on YouTube fam, I'm back. And this time we with the S197. I'm about to give y'all a mod breakdown of everything. I'm about to show y'all the price list. I'm about to let you know how much it costs to build this car exactly the way I done it. And I'm gonna show y'all part for part. And hopefully y'all enjoy it, man. Hopefully somebody built their car exactly like mine. Right, so we just made it to the most ghetto car wash in the world. Oh shit. I drove with the hood open. That's wild, man. I could have fucking blew the hood. I'm tripping. Look at all this mud, man. Look at the tires. Look at the tires. This shit probably take $15 to even get you crank up, man. Good old ceramic coat. You can tell I don't drive this car, man. You got leaves popping all out the damn out the side. I can't believe I drove with the hood up, man. That's crazy. I'm surprised it didn't fly up. Rain stop, I get it all clean. The way it's supposed to be. But right now they go out to work. Get this hood closed. About to go find us a spot to do this walk around, man. All right, so I found us a little spot behind wherever the fuck this is. I hate coming like in the middle of town, man. Everybody just be looking and want to stop, ask questions and shit. But we got the car back here, and of course we're gonna start on the outside. I'm gonna let y'all know what's going on in the mod list. I'm gonna tell y'all the price of everything. Try to show y'all every single part. I may not be able to show the suspension parts because that's a, under the car and the car sits so low. So we finna take the attention off me. 
and I'm gonna put it on the car and uh, I'm gonna give you a little exhaust clip. I'm gonna tell you what the exhaust is. Uh, I'm gonna show you the air lift, show you how it looks all the way aired up, all the way aired down in that ride height. After we do the outside, we're gonna go to the inside. I'm gonna show you everything on the interior. Then we're gonna go under the hood, show you what's going on up under there. Got a guy pulled up on me, man. I wanted to know what I was doing. Thought he wanted me to do a YouTube video, but here go the car. I'll do a quick walk around. Front bumper budging out, falling off and shit. <laughs> it's crazy, man. Okay, so what we about to do, we about to start in the front. I'm gonna give y'all the price rundown on everything coming from the front. Then we're gonna work our way to the back and we're gonna work our way to the inside. So we finna start right here with the hood. All right, so starting right here in the front, we got the Amazon S550 headlights. This car is a factory HID car, so as you can see, they got the tri bars. I think it fills in with the front of the car very well. And you can get those around $400 off Amazon. I don't think they make them anymore, so they only got the chrome housing. Then we're gonna go right here. We got the, the saline grill, which I just like the tri bars, the bars a lot more than uh, the stock grill. I do like the boss grill itself, which I don't have, which I can't find for a good price. So you can get that off CJ Pony Parts for around $165. Uh, they do have the one that has the badge, like right there, but it's uh, discontinued. So if you find one of those, you got your uh, original piece. Okay, now we're going to the hood. It's a true five or three inch. As you can see, it's not too high. It doesn't affect too much. So I'm gonna show you from the inside what it looked like from how you'll be driving. That's what I mean. It doesn't affect the way you drive or see the road at all. So that's gonna cost you around $800 and you gotta get it painted. And we're gonna go down to the front side markers, which I got those off Amazon, right? Like $60 for the set for the front and back. I think it's just a good piece to the car. Then we're gonna move on down to the brakes. The brakes on this car come off of S550. Uh, really not much to it, you have to buy the brake calipers, the rotors, those are GT500 rotors, 13 to 14. These came off uh, a 2018 Mustang, but I got the whole kit off Rock Auto for like $650. The, the do the kit, you have to do the rotors, the brakes, and you have to buy these pins. You have to buy this kit, the pins and the little kit in the middle. So yeah, that's something for the front that you can do to get some more stopping power. All right, so that's pretty much it for the front. We about to move to the rear of the car. I'm gonna show you the tail lights, the deck lid, the wicker bill, the exhaust. I'm gonna give you an exhaust clip so you'll know how it sounds. Then we're gonna move on to the performance part of the car. Now we're moving to the rear of the vehicle. We got the Raxxon Vector V2 tail lights. Those will cost you around 450 off of American Muscle, or you can go directly through Raxxon and try to get a sponsorship like I did. And then you got the RTR deck lid, which it makes the rear end look just that much better because it's smooth instead of having that big hump. And it, it kind of flows with the tail lights. how you got the, the gloss black here, then you got the gloss black going around the tail lights. which the, my car came with the candy cane tail lights, which I hate. Then uh, we're gonna go to the GT500 spoiler. That came off of eBay, it cost around $130 at the time. I think it went up to like 150, but it's a, it's absolutely a good part. It all bolts down. It got screws up under here. It got the double-sided tape, so that worked out pretty good. We got the, uh, the Z01 add-on wicker bill, which I just put on. It's not made for this car. It's made for the GT350 track pack. Uh, it costs you around 150. As you can see, it's tinted. I didn't get the... Uh, the solid black piece. I didn't want that. I wanted the tinted piece because it looked better, especially with the tail light, the third brake light, which is a Raxxon third brake light. For the most part, the exhaust is headers all the way back uh, to, I think it's three inch pipe and MBRP race exhaust. I'm gonna crank it up and give you a good little start and a good little rev up so you can hear what that sound like. So if you want those exhausts and you want to know what they sound like with long tubes, you'll know what's going on.
okay, I just showed you the exhaust. I gave you a little sound clip of it. It gets really loud, like especially at wide open throttle. When you're cruising, it's no drone. It's uh, it's perfect sounding. Sounds pretty decent to me, even with the long two headers and no cat, so it's free flowing. You can get these exhausts off American Muscle for around, I think it was like 469, so it'd be like five, 525 after taxes and shipping and whatnot. They got the new freight shipping shit, so everything costs a lot to ship now when it's oversized. So what we about to do now, we about to move into the vehicle and I'm gonna show you what I got going on on the inside from the door panels to the carbon fiber interior, CD player to the MGW ship. Then we gonna move into the performance part of the car. Okay, so we gonna start right here at the door panel. Those ran me about $200. Everybody between 10 and 14, they know the uh, the door panels, they, they are notorious for peeling. Getting those done was a huge upgrade for me because uh, mine's had peeled all the way off and it, looked, it just looked terrible. Then we got the carbon fiber trim right there. We got the carbon fiber trim right there. Carbon fiber trim there. All the way across there and up there. Uh, that ran me around $200 for everything. This part, this right here, this here and here came from eBay, which was, I mean, it's pretty good quality. I can't knock it. That came from Donna Performance for the focus that came from down in performance and honestly it all looks the same and no not to nobody but if i had to do it again i'll go all ebay just because of the price this stern wheel it came from down in performance it's all carbon fiber until the, it got the red stitching i need to get these in carbon fiber because i i don't like how that is silver then it just got the carbon insert overall it's a nice stern wheel leather got the good the nice carbon fiber you see the 12 weave whatever the name of it uh, that steering wheel is going to run you around, I think, $800, I think. It's either $450 or $800. I have to check my phone. Matter of fact, I can check that for you now. Instead of... All right, we're going to wait for it to boot up, and we're going to get back to that. Got this Tesla screen. It's an uh, Android-type screen. It came from Phoenix Automotive give it a good start up so you can see how it worked how long it takes to start up i got the slow booting one because i didn't want to pay the extra money for the fast boot and this one it cost around i think 600 dollars wasn't too bad it's a nice touch especially if you don't have the uh navigation system from factory and this steering wheel it ran 450 from down to performance so give them a shout out give them a holler they got it out pretty quick. I told them I needed it for a car show, and they got it right to me. Uh, this MGW shift knob, that came from MGW, of course. So that's basically pretty much it for the inside of my car. The floors need cleaning real bad, or I might just replace the carpet because it's kind of fading on the other side. So what we about to do now, we about to move to the outside. What we about to do now, we about to move to the wheels. We're gonna give you a good rundown on the wheels and sizes and whatever price then we're gonna move under the hood i'm gonna show you what's going on up under there i'm gonna show you where i'm putting all my power from where i'm getting all my power from and hopefully you don't climb me too bad okay as you can see that's my ride height for right now uh the wheels they are vossens i forget the model of them i got them second hand i got them for a thousand dollars uh you can get them brand new for 2400 and they got a good concave in the back which i like and then in front also is a 20 by 10 and a half wheel. And you go to the front, it's a 20 by nine and a half wheel, which is really nice. And I got them, the guy had already ceramic coated them, but they, they real dirty cause I stay in the muddy like area. And I really haven't cleaned my car in a couple weeks. So that's pretty much it for that. I plan on getting a Mickey Tunson for the rear just for racing purposes. And the front, I don't know what I'm gonna do with that. You about to go up under the hood. I'm gonna show you what's going on up under there. For anybody wondering, I have a basic NA setup. I'm not, I'm not supercharged yet. I'm not turbo and I'm not boosted at all, which I will be later this year or next year. Well, next year, cause this year is already over. I'm about to give y'all a rundown. What this is, how much of the cost, how much of the run you, uh, how hard is it to put on? and the power gains from it. As you can see, I got the Boss 302 manifold. That's gonna run you around $280. I got that one off eBay or you can get it from Ford. 
for around the same price. They they really inexpensive, but they give you a good gain up top between uh because the, the stock manifold it only pulls around like 65 to 7 grand. This one right here to run out to eight to eighty five hundred, which I wouldn't recommend unless you got the oil pump gears and bullet uh crank sprockets, whatever. Then I got the JLT 3.0 catch can. I recommend that because these motors are they, they drop oil, all like all the oil cover here and going in the manifold. So this right here will save you from a composite buildup. And I do have one on the driver's side also, which it never gets any oil in it, surprisingly. Then uh, these will run you $80 a piece, I think. I got them secondhand for like $30 a piece, I think. So you can get them off American Muscle. Then I got the custom valve cover covers. They are carbon fiber and red, which I need to clean. I got those for around 250. It was a uh, gift from my girlfriend. I forget where I get them from. It was a guy on Facebook selling them. To do the Boss Manifold, you will have to do this. I got this off Amazon. It's the Boss 302 Elbow. It has a little more curb than just the stock elbow itself. So it allows you to run the stock, air, the stock air box to the Boss 302. I also do have the, uh, the GTO reservoir for the clutch. That way the clutch and the brake not running off the same fluid and I had a steel braided line. That's pretty much it for up under the hood. Hopefully next time I come up under the hood, all oh, this will be out the way. We have a turbo sitting here, have a turbo sitting there, built motor, whatever, ported manifold. So now we finna move to the suspension part of the car. With that setup, you can be looking at uh, with the long two headers, I got them from Speed Daddy off eBay. Those, those was $300. I couldn't really show them to you because it's deep down in the engine bay. Uh, I think with this full setup, you should be running around between 420, 430 wheel. That's a good upgrade from like 390, 395 stop. So, and uh, other parts that I couldn't show you because it's under the car, of course. Uh, the drive shafts. I got that from Drive Shaft Shop. It's a one piece aluminum drive shaft. We're gonna run you like a thousand dollars. Or you can do like I did. I just swapped it out because someone had wrecked their car and we just did a swap. They got my stock mounted. They got my stock drive shaft and uh I got the aftermarket drive shaft. My clutch, I got that from Vengeance Clutch, Vengeance Racing Clutch. Uh they run you like 750. It's a twin disc. It come with everything you need. It come with the uh the clutch, the disc, the uh the pressure plate and the flywheel the aluminum flywheel the lightweight flywheel so that helped out a whole lot then i got the mgw shifter that's gonna run you around 490 dollars it's a huge upgrade overstock because it's so much shorter you can get it's two different specs i think it's like x spec and race spec or something like that i think i got the x i want the race which i will be trading out soon so i can just bring that one back and just trade it in and just upgrade i'm gonna do the flat stick and everything what we about to do now we about to get into the suspension part of the car and i'm gonna try to show you what i can without having to get down on the ground and lay on the ground for the stance and the height i got is on airlift 3p that's my ride height which is pretty nice i mean you don't have all the bumps you won't hit all the bumps and stuff which make it worth it the kit itself it's going to run you around $3,800. It's kind of expensive, but it's worth it. I'm about to show you all the way aired up, front and back. That's aired up, front and back, so you never have to worry about hitting humps or anything. The kit itself come with uh, coilovers for the front and coilovers for the back, but my coilovers in the back broke. So I'm about to try to get up under here and show you what's going on. I don't know if you can see it, but I got the, the Viking uh, adjustable race shocks for the back. It helps with the ride a lot too. It smoothed it, smoothed it out. We're going to air out, then we're going to go to the trunk. So for the most part, this kit going to run you $3,800 for the base kit. is a uh, 3P. You get the controller, the manifold, the tank, uh, the bags, the scruts, the shocks which is all coilovers and you get all the wiring and everything that you need. It's a pretty simple uh, setup. My truck dirty, got my girlfriend clothes in it. But you can see my tank. You can see my tank, you can see my compressor, my manifold sitting back there somewhere. Got a drive shaft loop right there. 
So overall, $3,800 to get you an air lift kit. I got it from SS Euros if you want to go through them. They also uh, they also offer financing in the Viking shops. I got those through Team Beefcake Racing. Those run you around $500. So a lot of people get those to race with. That's the one reason I got them because uh, soon I will be tracking this car and doing a lot of racing with it. Pretty much it, that's the full rundown on the car. If you wanna build your car to the same spec as mine or something similar, be looking to spend anywhere between 12 and 15,000 based on what mods you want. Everybody may not like my hood, everybody may not like my lights. So other than that, I gave you the rundown on everything. I showed you how much it costs. I gave you a nice walk around. I'm gonna give you one more walk around and I'm out, man. Catch me on the next video.